Thank you for joining us. This educational video is about frost and freeze information and typically when we see our average fr uh, first frost and first freeze for the Missouri Ozarks region. So first of all, let's talk about the definition of what is frost. Frost is the formation of ice crystals on the ground or objects. Frost forms in conditions similar to dew except the temperature close to the ground is right at or below freezing, 32 degrees. Frost conditions are best when there is clear skies and light winds. And you typically hear the, the term killing frost or killing freeze. Well, that actually is a term that signifies or typically marks the end of the growing season. Now, what is a freeze? Well, a freeze is when the air temperature actually is at or below 32 degrees, the freezing mark. And typically you'll hear the, the term a light freeze and a hard freeze. Well, a light freeze is considered to be when the temperature is between 28 and 32 degrees Fahrenheit. A hard freeze would be a much colder freeze and temperatures typically below 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, you'll hear the term sometimes in the, the uh, mid-fall and sometimes in the springtime of uh, frost and freeze advisories or watches and warnings. Well, when a frost or freeze event is expected within 24 to 48 hours in the future during the frost and freeze season, a watch is typically issued highlighting the potential for such an event. Whenever the temperature is forecasted to be below 32 degrees or less in the next 12 to 36 hours, typically uh, a freeze warning may be issued. And then whenever a temperature is forecasted to be below uh, 36 degrees, between 33 and, and 36, 37 degrees, give or take, lower to middle 30s in the next 12 to 36 hours during the frost and freeze season, on nights where there's light winds and good radiational cooling that uh, conditions for best for frost, a frost advisory would be issued. Now looking at uh, the typical average first frost date for the Missouri Ozarks region, uh, typically in your middle October uh, range, uh, anywhere between the 10th, the 15th, maybe as, as uh, uh, late as 20th. But typically on the higher plateau, uh, is around October 10th. The higher elevated uh, terrain and some of the valleys in the terrain may see it as early as October 10th. Uh, typically in Greene County it's around October 15th. Same thing in Joplin. And you see certain areas, the uh, southwest corner state, where there's some, some terrain effects. It could be a little earlier or it could be a little bit later. But typically mid-October is when we typically see the first frost around here. Now this is from the Missouri uh, Regional Climate Center and this is showing the average first light freeze and I'm highlighted with the two arrows when that typically happens and that again typically happens uh, mid to typically late October between October 11th through the 20th uh, for some of the higher terrain uh, effects on the Ozark Plateau and then down in the grasslands of Can southeast Kansas and extreme western Missouri it could be as late as uh, the 21st to the, the 31st of October. Now, our average first hard freeze is just a tad bit later, but you can see, again, on the Ozark Plateau, uh, a little bit earlier than, let's say, lower elevations uh, down on the grasslands or prairie lands of southeast Kansas and western Missouri. But uh, typically, that's uh, mid to late October is when we see those frost, light freeze, and, and sometimes the hard freezes by the end of October. And here's some websites, again, to, uh, to get more information. You can always check out for watches, warnings, or advisories on our website, weather.gov slash Springfield. You can also check out the Missouri or Midwest Regional Climate Center website for uh, the latest information. And you can also visit the Missouri Climate uh, website locally, and that's up at the, from the Mizzou uh, website. Thanks for joining us, and have a great one.